Hey guys, Darren here again from Global Garage. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different to what we normally do, and we're gonna try and clean and restore the yellowed plastic from these old consoles. So, you know, back in the day, uh, Nintendo was a really big believer in uh, sort of these gray flame retardant plastics. Um, and they were kind of a gray in color, but what they needed to do was make them, you know, safe and flame retardant. So the, the process was called brominated flame retardant or BFR, and they added a, a compound to the plastics, something along, along the lines of bromine, which is a, one of the elements, and that's flame retardant that stops it uh, catching fire. But as a result of adding that chemical to the plastics, over time, when these plastics were exposed to UV light, which is just the sun, so if they had any sunlight off them, on them whatsoever, they would turn yellow over time. And we're gonna clean up this uh, Famicom today. We're gonna clean it and try and brighten it up, as well as this uh, Super Famicom. Now, they don't look too bad on camera, but when you compare them to the white brush, I'm gonna use to clean them. Look at the, look at the white there, huge difference. Um, it's just crazy. And even the Super Famicom, you know, that's, that's gray, that's not too bad, but look at the colors there. So you can really see the difference. Both of these consoles, I, I've only just got in. Uh, this particular one, I quickly tested it. It powers up, but it has no picture. So we'll look at that separately. And this little guy, uh, he, I think he works fine. I don't, I don't have any games to test it, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll spend today, uh, well, you know, like an hour today doing this video, trying to clean it up and then I'll let it bake in the sun, in the UV light all day. It's looking like a nice day out there. So we'll get this chemical mixed up. We'll put it on, we'll let it bake. And I'll just come back at the end of the day and finish off the video and show you the results. Or, or maybe tomorrow, we'll let it sit for quite a while. So second part, or in another video, I'll do an AV mod on this little guy because out of the factory, they've only got uh, RF, which is garbage. Even composite video or composite, if you might say, is crap. But I don't think they do RGB, so that's all we're gonna have to work with, just composite video. But uh, yeah, probably another video on that one. I've got a whole stack of these Super Famicoms, which are in various states of disarray, so I'll probably fix them up on another video. But let's get on with the cleaning. So obviously we just use soap and water to start with, and we, we pull them apart just to bare plastic and use soap and water. Then I want to mix up my own sort of retro bright uh, cleaning, uh, whitening sort of product. And all you need is two products really, but I'm going to add a third product just to make it easier. So the first one is any uh, any sort of laundry powder that um, has the words Oxy Plus on it or Oxygen Plus. If it says Oxy or Oxygen, that's what you need. Uh, this was the cheapest one I could find. It turns out it's 50% more bright. so. It's probably got more, a higher percentage of the chemical in it. Uh, the chemical, I'll, oh, actually, what does that say there? It contains sodium procarbonate. Okay. There's a there's another chemical which I'll flash across the screen that is meant to be in these things. Um, I'm hoping it's in this one. It didn't actually say. So they don't actually print the chemical name. I've, I checked them all. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll go back and I'll try and find another one. Uh, I think Vanish is a good brand to try. So you need that with oxygen printed on the bottle. You need some hair peroxide in cream form is best. I just went into Chemist Warehouse, which is a big pharmaceutical shop here in Australia and just picked this up off the shelf. Uh, this is the 12% one. Uh, that was about $5 and this the laundry was about $5. So, so far I've spent about $10 on this and I've got so much so that's gonna last for, I don't know, many consoles. And just to make it easier, um, to make it a bit thicker, like those two products will be quite thin and a really thin cream. I thought I'd just add some of this stuff to it. It's kind of like a thick uh, bathroom stuff. So this was about, I don't know, two or $3 as well. And I'll just add a small amount of this just to thicken up the cream sort of stuff we're gonna make and just so it doesn't run off. And we'll just paste it on, probably with a paintbrush or something. And then we'll just chuck it in the sun and let it bake and do its thing. So. All right, on to part two. I'll, uh, I'll go and mix these up and we'll show you the, the application. So first thing is we need to disassemble these things. So uh, that's a little cartridge slot flap. It's good that that's intact. So let's flip it over. 
laid as flat as possible. Let's grab a Phillips head and let's back out these six screws. So quickly do that. Okay, they're out, let's flip it back over, lift the, well, actually the bottom just falls off these things. All right, cool. I've never opened one up before, so that's one experience. Um, that's pretty easy. Now we're gonna have to pull all the guts of this out, really. I mean, there's the, that's the original plastic color, which is, which is interesting. Sort of in that position, just so I know how to put that back. It's good to film these. That'll lift up. This needs to come out next. wire out. Now you've got to be just gotta be careful with this spring in here. Uh, let's just lift that off. Lift that spring off. Uh, it just went that way and hooked on so we can we can reverse that when we need to. Keep all those parts together. Uh, and we probably need to pull this switch out as well. I want to get it right down to bare plastic. So, same screws. Right, so down to bare plastic, we can then get the whole thing wet. So that's that's the, really the goal of today. So the, do these come out? Yes, they do. We can leave, we can leave them attached. Don't think there's any point pulling these off at the moment. It'll probably just break, I think, if I pull that off. How is that attached? Uh, yeah, there's little clips there, but I don't think we need to do that either. So that lid's good to go. Uh, the red we don't need to bleach because it's red, but I'll give it a rinse. So I'll just move all the screws out of the way and that's done. Um, just for interest. That's what the motherboard looked like. So this is the, uh, you know, this is the RF modulator and power on this side, cartridge slot, right up through, you know, processors and uh, the chip. So it's a pretty simple little board. This is, uh, this gray thing's interesting. It's rubber, it's really odd. I've never looked inside these, so it's a new experience for me. That is some sort of, Controller expansion. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah, I've got one of those controllers actually, so I'll test that out another time. Huh. It's good that it's got the cap. Oh uh, yeah, if you're wondering about my finger, mentioned it on a previous video. Um, I jammed it in a window recently, so about three weeks ago actually. So yeah, it got really jammed and squashed. So uh, it's healing now. It's all it doesn't hurt. It's all back on the mend, but yeah, it doesn't look very good. So it just got crushed. But thanks for asking. Okay, let's take this over to the laundry and mix up the chemical. So when I say soap and water, I mean really soak them. So we've got a little tub here in our, in our laundry and we've just added a bit of detergent to it, just some uh, washing up liquid and some warm water. And I get these parts and I completely uh, 
drench them. So we'll completely wash these and then uh, give them a bit of a scrub and hopefully they come up okay. Uh, I've actually swapped lids. I'm actually going to focus on just this Super Famicom for the first test because it actually had a really nice side grey plastic and just a yellowed front. So you know we can really we can see the difference there really easily. Uh, and yeah, that's the uh, that's a little Famicom that we had before. So it's already looking a lot better just with a wash. So that's it. I'll uh, I'll scrub these up and we'll mix up the chemical. Okay, so the first thing I've done is uh, just put some of this gumption paste. I just scooped a bit out uh, into the tray and with a tiny bit of warm water, just started to, to soften that up. And I've got myself an old paintbrush here. It's still nice and soft, so that should be okay. Uh, next, let's chuck in some of this uh, side stuff. I don't know how much to put in, but uh, I'm going to put in a fair bit, probably about that much. And then we're going to add the uh, peroxide, so this is a 200 mil bottle. I'm gonna add, oh, it's nice and thick, I'm gonna add, you know, it's probably about half of it. Put that aside and basically start to mash this stuff up. So I'll get it to a good pace and then we'll just go outside and apply it to the consoles. Okay, so we're outside, we've got some of our consoles laid out and I actually pulled more apart. Thought I'd just do all the ones I had. Uh, they're on a bit of plastic just on the grass here and the sun is directly behind me uh, shining down. So the sun's gonna hit the, this edge and that edge and I'll, I'll probably rotate these during the day. So here's the paste we've mixed up and I think it's just a matter of just slapping it on. So, so it's good. I'll just probably treat that that yellowed edge there and that button there. The rest of that console looks pretty good. This guy needs to be completely drowned. So I'll just go through this one. Let's get the whole thing done. I don't think this paste is quite thick enough, so uh, I'll probably use more gumption next time or use some more thickening agent of some sort. So really get this pasted up. Flip that over. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rotate this machine during the day to get all the edges sort of equally coated yeah but that's okay i'll just give it a little bit on each side first all right onto these ones and that's the process guys so i'm just going to paint these up and we'll let them sit and come back a bit later Okay, so I've just uh, let these bake all day and I've pulled them in now and uh, put them in the shade. And I've actually swapped some of the parts, like uh, you know, some of these panels and parts. I've kind of moved them around to sort of match the color tone, but they're definitely a lot better. They've really, uh, they've really brightened up. Um, and this one down here, I'm you know, really impressed with this actually. This has come up quite well. So that was really bad. And now that's, that's quite bright. Um, What's interesting is, you know, where the um, where the peroxide and chemical sort of sat and recessed in these sort of grooves here, they've really brightened up. So, you know, maybe if I was to do it again, I'd get more on there and just let it sit for longer. And uh, I even dripped a few drips down in those vents and you can see some really white marks in there, like it's really cleaned them up. So 
I guess the lesson from this is, uh, yeah, a lot of peroxide, that seems to do a lot and that, uh, that laundry chemical helps a lot and together they seem to just really do the job. So I'll put all these back together and get them all working on a separate video, but uh, for today I just wanted to show you my little backyard plastic fix. Alright guys, see you next time.